So here we have one section hooked up. Back up a little bit. That's uh, ideal if you can get by with just one section. Uh, we did put some blocking, just use some donuts underneath it. We'll work at driving getting uh, some kind of blocking material on all our dry hydrants. If you're the first truck on and you know you're going to be using a dry hydrant, try to keep at least a quarter of a tank of water in your booster tank and back flush the first truck, quarter tank. Just open up the tank to tank the pump and open up and that's what's happening now. They're just back flushing. You see the water coming through. They're back flushing through the pump. Pump's not even engaged yet. If you don't have that water, obviously on the call you're just going to have to do with what you have. But we're going to back flush a little bit and then we'll switch to draft. Our ideal situation would be for mutual aid to show up and put an engine on our dry hydrant and just stay stationed here pumping for us all the time. So now we're going to switch to uh, pump. We use the tank water to back flush and we also use it to speed up our prime. So now most of the dry hydrant should be filled with water. We shouldn't have a whole lot of air to evacuate. They might get wet because we're going to shoot it out the deck gun. So now they're going to switch to a draft. Run up the RPMs. Primer, you should see the air removed, evacuated. It should, shouldn't take too long since the pump is, or the, water, the pipes are full of water. And then you need to get a place to, for it to go. And we're going to be making a mess on the truck here. And if you can't get the draft, then stop and check for leaks. Check for all of your uh, connections. So it doesn't take much to get a leak. So if there's any air coming in, you'll lose your friend. The connection of the dry hydrant would be the first place I would check.